Module 3, What Your Words Say. The goal of this module is for the viewer to be able to strengthen their connection with a patron through the use of positive phrases. Words have power. Some words are welcoming, while others set the tone for a poor patron interaction. Words are phrases such as, good morning, may I help you, thank you for calling the university libraries, are all considered magic words or phrases. These phrases strengthen the connection with a the patron. They are personal, specific, and empathetic. They are welcoming to a patron. I can help with that. I can look that up for you. I will take care of that for you. Are phrases that express a willingness to help provide patrons with excellent service. There are also words and phrases that can chip away at our credibility and at customer service. These are referred to as tragic words or phrases. They are tragic because they are negative in some way. They put a distance between you and the patron. They create an uneasiness, imply a lack of action or responsibility. They may be impersonal or vague and unclear, or they may use inappropriate slang. There are three categories for tragic words and phrases, sloppy, non-committal, and authoritarian. Sloppy phrases include phrases like, hold on, hang on, what's your problem? Just a sec, here's what I'm going to do. These statements all contain words that are impersonal and use inappropriate slang. Non-committal phrases imply a lack of action or responsibility and are vague and unclear. Examples include, we can't do that, he's very busy now, that's not my department, or we'll have to call you back. Authoritarian statements are rigid. They give the feeling of my way or the highway. Some examples of authoritarian statements include, you should have, or you have to, that's against library policy, calm down, like I said, and if you had. These statements can be taken as orders. So how can we avoid tragic phrases and words? First, pinpoint the tragic word or phrase and then choose alternative language that allows you to be personal, specific, and show empathy. For example, instead of telling a person they have the wrong number, explain to them who they have reached and connect them to the department they are calling for. Instead of telling a patron, I'll call as soon as possible, be specific and tell them when you will call. For example, I'll call at 3 o'clock. I'd like to help, but, but says you can't help. Tell the patron what you can do to help them and be specific. Sometimes you may not have an answer. Rather than telling the patron that you will have to check with your supervisor, tell them that you would be happy to check on it for them and ask them to hold while you get them an answer. Telling a patron that you'll see what you can do is not specific. Tell them what you're going to do. When a patron calls, be personal. Ask them who's calling. So make your words or phrases magic by forming a personal connection with the patron. Be personal. Make sure the patron feels significant by providing that personal connection. Be specific. Provide time frames and details that matter to the patron. This will help to put them at ease and know that they are working with a professional. Be empathetic. Show the patron that you understand what they're going through and the significance of the issue at hand. By connecting with our patrons, we show that we genuinely care and want to help. This will allow us to continue to provide the excellent service that our patrons are accustomed to receiving.